Greetings, everybody. Battery H back for another episode of Beans as we're here in the college town trying to keep our place immaculate. Uh, just to give you an update on our progress, we need to earn $3,000, protest President Dump, and place seating for 15 people, all of which we have left to do. <laughs> Rush hours are at 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. And just in case you didn't know where, uh, there's our clock right down here. So we got about six hours. We want to get those things placed so that they're happen during rush hours and uh, all that good stuff there. So we're going to kick things back in operation and hopefully we will get out of this place in this episode. Um, I think we're going to do um, an antique Chesterfield. Uh, This apparently will not allow us to rotate it, however. So we'll just kind of set it over here. And maybe... Um, a lazy boy to go with it over here a little bit. Remember, that's right. We have to clean up our... We have to clean up our crud that everybody drops around here. I need to turn those special effects volume down just a little bit. Okay, maybe not that much. Or maybe that much. It, it kind of sounds a little better and it's not as assaulting on the ears. I think we probably need to research some more, uh, some more kinds of um, goodies as well. I think um, let's purchase an ice machine. I think and take a look at what kind of uh, the menu. So there's a couple of three or four different things here. Um, Oh, I heard the sound. Holy moly cow. Look at that. Oh, man. We were almost we almost went to uh, horrible numbers. Let's research maybe some iced tea. That's what that is, I believe. Uh, nope, guess not. Maybe iced scoby. Yay, we can do that. Okay, come on. So I can clear the rest of the stuff. And collect all of our money. And then we'll kind of save this area for our protest position, I guess. Um, Iced, iced coffee, regular old iced coffee. That sounds good. Oh, more, uh, more, more garbage, more garbage. Ugh. I don't like that much garbage, people. There's no need for it. Okay, we've been, we've got enough seating now, so we just need to earn money and then do our protest. I think we're going to pay him to, for our recipe here. Pour over brewer and the scoby. Okay. Scoby tea.
syrup dispenser kit. Hemp. No, we're not. We're not going to use the hemp plant. I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe we'll try the. Uh, maybe we'll try the hot plate here. And it looks like there's just one item, so maybe just the hot plate. No, apparently I can't use just the hot plate. Um, Yeah, we're coming up on rush hour, so we're not going to try right now to uh, accumulate anything. I really like the goat pen for some reason up here. I do not understand why, but they do. I am not sure what to tell you. Scoby and the hot plate, huh? Okay. I'm almost afraid to ask what this would be. Scoby cakes. Is there anything like Scoby snacks? Mm-hmm. I think we need to put a table over there. Our appeal's up to 15. Let's get an old antique game console in there for people like me who want to fart around during our breaks. Okay, we now have a fridge. Looks like there's a new item at the top of the menu, I guess. Um, leftovers. <laughs> okay. Well, we're raking in the money now, ladies and gentlemen. And let's take a look at our progress. So $1,600 towards our $3,000. So we're half better than halfway there. 
I think with every new appliance we put in there that we're getting some new stuff. Um, and we'll use this water rustificator. Crunchy brown water, yay! Nothing says, let me go back to that place like crunchy brown water, I'm telling you. We seem to have the... Uh... I think here at about noon we'll go and place our uh, place our event so we can get that out of the way and then all we have to do is worry about finishing making money. A lot of very happy people. That's what I like to see. Three hundred and twenty seconds. Oh, my goodness, look at the garbage pile up. Here comes our protest, ladies and gentlemen. So we got a nighttime protest here. <laughs> Remember, I didn't make the game political. The game made the game political. As long as we keep our uh, healthy, our health inspection immaculate. I think we're going to be just fine here. <laughs> we have clicked a lot of garbage here. What can I say? What can I say? It's 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 a lot of trash to have to take out. We're 22.47, so we're about $750 away. Why is everybody so steaming mad? Apparently, we need to hire a new employee.
Hmm, I've clearly done something that's caused everybody to go into a madhouse. Okay, they're getting less mad now. They're they're now back to working themselves. Silly. I wonder if I have too many products. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea what's going on with everybody here. All I know is we seem to be losing customers. Now, Hmm, not sure what's going on here, people. Dean of Nursing has failed literally every class since coming here. Nice. I don't know why everybody's going around here steaming. That's a mighty good question. Huh. Okay, well, uh, I'll be right back in just a moment here, folks. Okay, back, and I am unable to determine why my clientele or why my uh, staff are so angry. Maybe they just need attention. Okay, I don't seem to get why they're... Okay, I guess I have to, I don't know, hit them or something to that effect. That seems to be it. You have to pause the game and tap them. I do not know why. Um, whether they're just overly stressed and they want your attention or what. But since they move so fast, it's impossible to hit them when they're moving, it seems. Okay. 
Okay, well that makes a little more sense now. Let's hope we can get the rest of our stuff and maybe get out of here by the end of this level. Oof. Don't like losing all that time, ladies and gentlemen. They seem a lot less stressed now, though. Well, I don't know if they're less stressed. I'm less stressed. How about that? Hey, more favorites, more favorites. I like more favorites. A lot of them seem to like their, their coffee cake there of sorts. Big tippers, that's what we like to see. Not real big fan of when they leave uh, stuff below the uh, below in the in the in the menu bar there. Okay, we're within one hundred and eighty dollars of making the money we need to make for this level. A few more non-littering customers would be wonderful. Oh, so close. Hey, we have our level complete. Who's uh Here's my peoples. I I can't believe this. I'm sure you can't. You've bested me, little miss. I wasn't able to complete the master's plan. I'm done for. Spit it out. Who is this master? Does someone have it in for me? I keep it's because I keep making nasty replies to customers on Volk. A few elephant toenails get mixed into the bagel dough and suddenly everyone gets upset. I can understand that. <coughs> Come close. Let me tell you how I escaped from an ancient city of evil obots. Obots on Cape Breton and found my way to America. What are you talking about? I thought you were a health inspector. Okay, you know what? Just get out of my restaurant and I don't tell the city about the stunt you pilled, okay? Sounds good. 
Though my northern honor demands I give you something in return for beating me. Take this! You beat me, so now you are certified S plus, super clean. And one last piece of advice. Never trust someone whom you've never seen naked except for a jean jacket. Until then, you never know which way their hockey hair parts. Ugh. Yeah, get the out of my shop, please. Oh. Well, hopefully the evil lair will include a fire pit that his chair will drop into. Maybe, or a shark tank. A shark tank would also work well. I should have known better than to trust Roustauser and his baloney smelling words. But no matter. Anyone can sell coffee to caffeine addicted students. It is no wonder her shop did so well. The girl's next trial is to try to win the hearts and dollars of the lowliest of customers. Tourists. She doesn't know the first thing about promotion. I trust you are up to the challenge. Uh, ar. Uh, what? Uh, yar, that I be. Uh, the lass has no idea what she's in for. Good now. Why, I've learned my lessons on the seas herself. Tide goes in, tide goes out. Sometimes it stays out for days at a time, and they have to hire tugboats to pull it back to shore. Ugh. I thought that you owned the restaurant. That I do. Twas many years ago when I was but a lad. I gambled against fate. It was high noon in July, and I won it in a game of cards with the s The sea? Heard that story, Heavy. Aye, it's an amazing tale. One of lust, adventure, murder, and vengeance. There I was, aboard a Chinese cargo ship, when suddenly... Enough! You are to make sure the customers come to your restaurant and stay far away from the girls. Do that and you will be rewarded. And I swear, if you mention pieces of eight, I will break your legs. Thank you. Leg. I lost one in an arm wrestling match with a giant radioactive crab when I get out. I suspect there's going to be an encounter at the restaurant. <laughs> so where's that cute one with the suit? Oh, oh. You mean Albert? I don't know. He hasn't shown up today. I haven't seen him around in a while. Wait, why are you asking that? Oh dear, you know I've always had a thing for men in uniform. He's a butler. Oh look, our famous long-lost half-cousin, whatever she be. Rose, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how my distant cousin was doing. I've heard you're on your third trial. You're doing much better than I imagined for someone with such a diluted bloodline. It really is quite amazing. Thanks, I, I guess. Uh, look, I wanted to let you know that we've done really well so far, but it's only going to get harder from here on. But you just keep on being you. Trust me when I say nobody will make a shop quite like yours. Uh, well, thanks, Rose. Now, if you don't mind, ladies, I've got work to do. Say no more. Ciao. You just let me know if you need anything, okay? Excuse me. Apology accepted. Good morning, lass. I'm, uh, yeah, the owner of the Soggy Duck, right? The restaurant right next door? Uh, uh, yes, that's right. Can I ask you how you know who I am? Uh, I saw you pacing back and forth from your restaurant to my shop's door about ten times this morning waiting for me to open up. Listen to me, lass. I'm only going to say this once. Opening the shop was a challenge, one I can't ignore. This high tourist season, and I aim to catch every one of them in my net. If you get in my way, I'll toss you over the poop deck. I think that's what that is, the, the, the poop pier. First, don't call me lass. Second, this is a public boardwalk. Finally, get out of my shop. Oh, the... Uh, Ah, the owner shows your claws. Fine, fine. I'll leave you be, but remember, this boardwalk is mine. I've won the hearts and mind of tourists here since before you were born, and I'll do it again. 
and I'll do that by having better and more varied recipes than your feeble mind could ever conjure. Tourists are fickle, they crave choice, only I can give it to them. Lads, rev up those friars and get the good costumes. Oh, and the big lobster one, too. This is war. Yar. The Pirates at the Soggy Duck Oh, why can't I ever just open a shop somewhere nice and quiet without there being sea captains in my face? Okay. Let us pause the game and look at what we must do. Okay. Our objectives for this next restaurant are to research a rare or better, earn $4,000, serve people metal shavings, place at least 18 table or at least eight tables, pardon me, tolerate a mime and research 20 unique recipes. Well, that sounds all in good, but I think we're going to leave that for next time. Thanks everybody for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, please do consider giving us a uh, uh, thumbs up better yet leave a comment and i hope you have subscribed if not remember it's free links to my twitter's down below you can always find out when i've posted a new video here on the channel uh, remember we're doing all sorts of things in the terms of strategy and simulation we can we can call this a simulation i guess uh, of sorts <laughs> until next time everybody i hope you've had a great time thanks for watching have a great day and start it with a cappuccino.